importance of the presence as well as distribution of water on the moon. Extensive mapping of lunar surface to study variations in lunar surface composition is a sense evolution of the moon. Further studies. Space missions are complex and risky, more so for a mission to moon and other planets. We have a track record. Chandrayaan-1 of 2000 each and the Mars Orbiter mission Mangalyaan of 2014. They tested our ability for precise navigation into deep space and for the tricky capture of the orbit of these celestial bodies. Chandrayaan-2 mission is more intricate. Imagine the lunar lander orbiting moon at a speed of around 6,000 km per hour. It must have autonomous capability to break its speed and steer itself for a soft and safe landing in an uncharted terrain of moon that too precisely at a designated site and what more all this happened within 16 minutes and the landing site also has to be ascertained by itself while on its descent what drives the dream isro to such quantum leaps it is the belief in ourselves it is team excellence it is the learning from the past missions both failures and successes it is a sublime combination of the wisdom of elders and the innovative power of younger generation. It is a preparedness for all imaginable scenarios. It is transformational leadership at all levels. The lunar South Pole is especially interesting because of the lunar surface area here that remains in shadow is much larger than that at the North Pole. Chandrayaan 2 is the next leap in technology as we attempt to soft land close to south pole of moon. The soft landing is extremely complex and we will experience approximately 15 minutes of terror. There is a possibility of the presence of water in permanently shadowed areas around it. Chandrayaan 2 will attempt to soft land the lander Vikram and rover Pragyan in a high plane. First space mission to conduct a soft landing on the moon's south polar region. First Indian expedition to attempt a soft landing on the lunar surface with homegrown technology. First Indian mission to explore the lunar terrain with homegrown technology. Fourth country ever to soft land on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan 2 will be aided in achieving its mission by some of India's most advanced engineering marvels. Its integrated module which comprises technology and software developed across the country, includes ISRO's most powerful launch vehicle to date and a wholly indigenous rover. Chandrayaan-2 is on a mission unlike any before. Leveraging nearly a decade of scientific research and engineering development, India's second lunar expedition will shed light on a completely unexplored section of the moon its south polar region. Moon is the closest cosmic particle near the Earth. So it was always very, very interesting for hum human being to understand uh, the moon. Chandrayaan 2 is going on a particular place on the area where no country has reached. That area is south pole of the moon. Chandrayaan mission will inspire and uh, motivate the youth of this society and the children and the student to come out of the comfort zone, think bigger and go beyond what is already achieved. This mission will help us gain a better understanding of the origin and evolution of the moon by conducting detailed 
topographical studies, comprehensive mineralogical analysis, and a host of other experiments on the lunar surface. Uh, is a 4 meter diameter class uh, rocket with a payload capability of 4 ton to GTO. This is the rocket that is going to carry our Chandrayaan 2 to the orbit. The GSLA Mar 3 is signified with a very, very elegant architecture in which we use one of the biggest solid boosters called S200 as its strap ons or the first stage. Then we use a liquid stage, Vikas engine based L110 and a cryogenic upper stage, a new cryogenic upper stage with the C25 stage with a C20 20 ton thrust cryogenic engine, which is an indigenous development. It also features a payload compartment, which is uh, five meter in diameter, giving almost 100 meter cube payload volume. Balancing of these two motors to provide very equal thrust in a solid motor was one of the important challenge which was addressed in the design and its processing and casting and testing of these motors. Five, four, three, two, one. India's GSLV Mark III M1 successfully launched Chandrayaan 2 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shar, Sri Harikota, on July 22, 2019, into its planned orbit. I am extremely happy to see that ISRO is now embarking on one of the most complex missions that is undertaken since its inception, that of launching the Chandrayaan 2, which has got an ambitious mission goal, that of putting a craft around the moon as an orbiter, and then take a part of it and land it on the surface of the moon the lander and ultimately deploy out of this another craft that would do a little bit of roving around the vicinity of the landing and search for itself certain features of the moon, uh, the geography, the, the geological and uh, other aspects of the lunar surface. ISRO aims to expand India's footprint in space. inspire a future generation of scientists, engineers, and explorers. Surpass international aspirations. Let us hear from Dr. A. Rajarajan how Chandrayaan-2 was successfully launched. Lot of things happen behind the scenes for a successful launch. The integration of the launch vehicle happens over a period of 50 days. The activities are carried out 24 by 7, round the clock, in a highly synchronized manner, which is the hallmark of the resilience of Team ISRO. Favorable weather and wind conditions are a must for successful launch. Planning a launch requires accurate weather and wind profile modeling and prediction for the launch date. Ensuring safety at all work sites requires elaborate planning and assessment of accident risks. The liquid fuel is loaded in launch vehicle hours before the launch. Ensuring adequate supply and accurate loading requires careful monitoring of this activity. All activities before the launch till liftoff are controlled and monitored by the mission control room, which has the system to assess the flight data from the launch vehicle. Spent stages of the rocket are separated and fall back on the earth along the ground trace. Careful analysis is done to predict the impact location of these spent stages to prevent any mishaps. Just after the lift, the flight data are received using the ground-based radar ATSHA 
and this is how a successful launch is executed. Three, two, one. After the injection of Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft, a series of maneuvers were carried out to raise its orbit and put Chandrayaan-2 on lunar transfer trajectory. On the day of landing, the lander will separate from the orbiter and then perform a series of complex maneuvers comprising of rough braking and fine braking. Imaging of the landing site region prior to landing will be done for finding safe and hazard-free zones. The lander Vikram will finally land near South Pole of the Moon on September 7, 2019. Subsequently, rover will roll out and carry out experiments on lunar surface for a period of one lunar day, which is equal to 14 Earth days. Orbiter will continue its mission for a duration of one year. For understanding of the lunar composition, it is planned to identify the elements and map, its distribution on the lunar surface. Orbiter, weight 2,379 kg. Electric power generation capability, 1,000 watt. At the time of launch, the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter will be capable of communicating with Indian Deep Space Network IDSN at Bailalu as well as the Vikram lander. The mission life of the orbiter is one year and it will be placed in a 100 by 100 kilometer lunar polar orbit. Lander Vikram, weight 1471 kg. Electric power generation capability, 650 watt. The lander of Chandrayaan-2 is named Vikram after Dr. Vikram A. Sarabhai, the father of the Indian space program. Vikram has the capability to communicate with IDSN at Bailalu near Bengaluru as well as with the orbiter and rover. The lander is designed to execute a soft landing on the lunar surface. Rover Pragyan, weight 27 kg, electric power generation capability 50 watt. Chandrayaan 2's rover is a six wheeled robotic vehicle named Pragyan, which translates to wisdom in Sanskrit. It can travel up to 500 meters and leverages solar energy for its functioning. It can only communicate with the lander. Around 70 students from across the country will be watching Chandrayaan 2's scheduled soft landing on the moon as it happens in the early hours of Saturday. The students will watch Chandrayaan 2's moon landing live along with Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. Excited about the soft landing and the rover. I'm aware that it's very critical to soft land precisely on the moon surface, especially after the failure of Israel lander. It's going to be 
be a very huge scientific knowledge mission and for the whole of nation it's going to be a national pride each one of us is going to enjoy and prove to ourselves and to the all the nations around the world that isro is capable of achieving anything i am very proud to be an indian as india is launching on biggest and greatest mission chandra and we always see that students either want to become doctors or want to become engineers but when things like this come up we can we can see that there are other opportunities out there it's not just doctors and engineers or other other careers people choose the science and technology our country has so many resources we we have the ability to come forward by so much going to be a successful mission because isro has been achieving marvelous feats recently i hope that this chandrayaan 2 is a success and that students like us can be working on chandrayaan 3 and 4 and so many more isro will continue in its endeavor to provide many such deeply explored space programs in the near future देखिए